Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Corn Beaner. This is going to be my unboxing for the Logitech G Series G710 Plus Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. I won this keyboard through a giveaway that Mass Luminosity was hosting where they teamed up with Logitech to actually go through a whole gaming bundle which included this keyboard here, a wireless headset, and a gaming mouse. Those have been unboxed already. If you guys want to see those videos, they will be posted up. But I got to give once again a big thank you to Max Luminosity for hooking it up, teaming up with Logitech. And you know what? I'm going to give a big shout out to Logitech for teaming up with, Man with Max Luminosity and um, giving me the opportunity to actually win this uh, keyboard, which I actually won. As I mentioned some of my previous videos, if you've seen them, uh, these are all upgrade parts that I wanted for my current rig. And I'm very happy that I actually got like a fully mechanical gaming keyboard because it's going to be the first one that I've ever had. And uh, what a better place to start than Logitech, right? So let's get started with the unboxing. It's in the box. Keyboard, palm rest, user documentation. This particular keyboard comes with a one-year limited hardware warranty, which is kind of sweet. Uh, the specs that you will need for this to actually be recognized by your computer is either Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows Vista. I'm guessing XP users are out. Two high, available high-speed USB 2.0 ports. If you if you have a computer that's running Vista, Windows 7, or 8, you probably already have that. 70 megabytes of available hard disk space, uh, internet connection for optional software download, basically for your drivers, which I always recommend. If you can get the drivers, always do that. Always get the latest drivers. Looking at the back here, just going through some of the stuff. 110 key anti-ghosting, 26 key rollover, game desktop mode. Uh, dedicated media controls, six programmable G keys, which are pretty much just a macro so you can set them up for any type of gaming functions that you may need. Uh, I believe these also work for Photoshop and other stuff like that. So if you have like particular shortcuts that you want, you know, this might be easier for you if you're into that. And the bottom here, it just says high speed, low noise, ethical switches for feedback you can feel. Um, the information is actually pretty skimpy on this. Uh, some of the stuff here, like, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've heard of anti-ghosting. I've heard of the 26 rollover, uh, the 26 key rollover and all these other terms that they use. To be honest with you guys, the definition is pretty much, you know, like you can, you're able to press one or two buttons at the same time without them conflicting with each other. I really have never run into a keyboard that I've gamed with and I've gamed with some pretty shitty keyboards where that's been a problem. Maybe I don't have the fast twitch like gaming reactions as some people have. But I've never noticed it. It's not really a big selling point to me. All these numbers to throw out. The one thing that I do like is a gaming to desktop mode. Pretty much meaning that you can disable that Windows button. Because I do, I've had games where I've been in it. You know, once I go press shift control or one of these buttons down here. And I accidentally press the Windows button. And that's cost me games before. So I'm kind of happy that that's taken care of. Uh, the media controls which are on top. It's pretty sweet as well. Unboxing the actual keyboard itself. You have tape here which I've already cut on both sides. So getting into the box itself. In the box is another box. And uh, more tape. Bam. Holders, holders, holders. Uh, so here's the keyboard itself. Here is a Logitech mechanical gaming setup guide. Just you know, lets you gives you the ins and outs, important information. I'm guessing this is all your warranty stuff here, the documentation. Uh, there's a little sleeve, and there's more stuff in the bottom. Uh, here's the wrist rest. Now, to be honest, this is not the first gaming keyboard I've actually owned. I've had three. I've had a Razer Tarantula. I've had the Steel Series Shift, which I'm going to replace and show you guys in a bit. I don't actually like these things because they're hard plastic. So what I wind up doing is just wind up tossing these and I use a, a big silicone wrist, uh, wrist guard for the bottom. It's a lot softer on my wrist and I, I just don't like plastic. It, it seems to just make my wrist hurt. So I probably won't be using this at all. But if you like this, it comes with it. This is my personal taste. Um, I'm getting older and I like my my wrist to be rested on something soft. So once out of the box, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, as you can see, these are the, the G keys or the macro keys. Again, you can set these up to do you know particular actions on any game. Um, I've used these before. You know what? I'm not a big fan of these. I, I, again, maybe I don't have the Twitch-like gaming reactions to actually use these. Uh, your function keys on top. You know, all your regular buttons, your space bar, your enters, your home, you know, your arrows and stuff like that. On the side here, you have volume control. These are all your media controls, which is pretty cool because it also has what it looks like are 
is a switch to make your light either dimmer or brighter. And what I mean by lights is, as you can see some, like if you can see some of these black buttons, they actually have the, the numbers and the letters painted on them. So just to correct that part of the video, the whole keyboard actually lights up. I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but if you press this button here, it has four levels of light, bam. And then if you press this other button on the left here, you'll only see these buttons here light up. So you can use the, the whole keyboard, or you can just do these buttons here. So it's really up to you as far as what power level you want um, the lights to be at. And that's customizable as well, so that's very nice. So sorry for the confusion, but the whole keyboard actually is backlit, which is awesome for nighttime gaming. And up here, even though not explained in the box, I'm going to assume these are for individual profiles. So if you have different games with different setups that you wanna just play, like say you have a different profile for like StarCraft, press that. You know, Call of Duty, press that, and any other game, you know, just, just set them up here so you can just press the buttons here to actually set your keyboard up. Here goes a USB port. You know, you need two of them. The reason why you need two is you need one to actually power the keyboard itself for the signal and the lights. But if you look here in the bottom, there's an additional USB port. And uh, you can use that for anything else. Now, you can probably connect your wireless mouse transmitter through there, or the extender or your headset charger. You'd be able to do it through there. Now, when it comes to the definition of a mechanical keyboard, basically what a mechanical keyboard is, is that each one of these buttons is an individual button. What I mean by that is there's basically two types of keyboards. There's your silicone keyboards, and then there's your mechanical keyboards. Your silicone keyboards pretty much will have this on top, a thin sheet of silicone underneath that has little caps. And those are the ones that you're gonna need to press. So it's, really, it's pretty much just one big silicone circuit board underneath the keyboard that you're gonna have to press at a time. All these buttons here have individual plungers, you know, individual buttons. I believe for this series, from what I read, they're considered brown switches. And the colors range from red, black, brown, blue and white i believe and the only difference between them that i can understand and i will link to a website that explains the switches more in details is the actual tension of uh, the plunger or the switch itself these are cherry browns which is the middle ground and basically what's what's really good about mechanical keyboards is you only need to go about halfway and you can actually feel a little click when you press it, that's gonna be the only touch that you need to actually have that key register. So if you press down on it, you can actually feel like, I, here, let me see, right there, that little movement, and that key is already registered. You can go further down. It's a four millimeter all the way complete push to get this from top to bottom, but you only need two millimeter push, so it's halfway to actually trigger that uh, action on you know the keyboard so this might be really good for uh, touch typers you know if you just do really quick you know if you, you can do the the whole you know like halfway down thing you can be quick with it uh, with the silicone keyboard you actually need to press that key all the way down and while two millimeters and four millimeters doesn't sound like much in the grand scheme of actually having to do four millimeters pure button you know it does save you distance it does save you a little bit of fatigue in your hands if you're a mass typer or a hardcore gamer that little bit you don't have to extend your fingers you know can mean a little bit of less fatigue on your fingers and your wrist which might be cool at the end looking at the bottom of the keyboard itself uh, you can see it's very normal it has these little feet up here so you can prop it up a little bit more i like the actual feet to be propped up little rubber feet here allows it to just stay in place instead of sliding all the way around so as I've explained in my other videos, and once again, thank you, Mass Luminosity, all the stuff that I just got from the Logitech bundle of gaming are gonna be replacement parts for stuff I already had. This is my overall second um, gaming keyboard that I had. This is a Steel Series Shift. And this is, a, this is a Silicon Cat keyboard. And as you can tell, like I'm pressing I, well, it might seem that the noise might, you know, I guess hinder one's performance. You know, I actually like that clicking sound. And just based on what I'm feeling right now, I, I like this little feel a little bit more, especially when it comes to the space bar, because this space bar is kind of flimsy. This one is not, it's a little bit stiff and going up from there. You know, I'm gonna attribute a little bit of the softness on this one to being cherry browns and not cherry blacks, which I believe are the stiffest one. I could be wrong, once again, I will link to the website that explains all the cherry switches uh, down below. 
but this overall just feels a little bit softer and you know what it was good for the time that i had it but i don't like the actual softness the one thing that i well the reason why i bought this keyboard the shift was because i got it on sale for 35 bucks normal price for this is about 70 to 80 bucks i'm not sure what they're going for now but i found it for half price and i wanted another gaming keyboard so i bought this and for its intended purpose at 35 dollars it did a very good job the other reason why i wanted to get it was because i thought i was gonna wind up doing this here oh it's kind of dirty sorry about that people as you can see the keyboard actually keyboard actually comes off and the reason why it comes off is because the shift series keyboards actually come with additional toppers that you can buy depending on the game so if you want to buy like a world of warcraft uh keyboard set a starcraft keyboard set uh, i believe a battlefield keyboard set was made for this in dragon age you could actually buy those keyboard sets and add it to this machine and it will work just fine for those particular games if you're really hardcore into one of those games it'll be kind of the cool thing and now that i actually got the keyboard off this is what i want to explain to you guys as you guys can see here these are little nubs these are the silicone caps but all these silicone caps are attached to a larger silicone pad underneath these are cool but they do wear out fairly you know fairly faster than the mechanical keyboard reason being is because it's a silicone this is you know it's soft it's already soft to begin with so once you start adding pressure to it and start using it a lot more they do get softer with time this is an actual mechanical plunger an actual button that you can use that will last you a little bit longer and it, the feel of a new keyboard will last you a little bit longer or maybe a lot longer depending on how you use it uh, based on the fact that this is mechanical and this is silicone as you can tell the profile on both of them from side to side seems to be about the same which is a big plus for me i was worried that the g710 when i won it was going to be a lot larger than you know my desk could actually handle because this is pretty much capping out all the available space i have on my desk right now for a keyboard once again i found this for 35 bucks you can find these anywhere between 70 and 80 if you're interested in the detachable keyboard but honestly around that time if you probably spend about maybe 20 bucks more i know there's a, a bunch of companies like thermaltake uh logitech razor steel series another steel series one that for about maybe a hundred bucks you can probably pick up a mechanical keyboard or you know what ebay is always a thing you can probably buy one used but overall this keyboard for 35 bucks if you can find it for that price you know what i have no regrets buying this it served me well and uh i'm not sad to see it go but a hey, job well done steel series for this shift keyboard it does work really well so in the end this is my new gaming setup which i'm very happy that I actually got uh, it consists of a G710 plus keyboard here the mechanical one a G930 gaming headset wireless headset and the G700 gaming wireless mouse uh, once again thank you mass luminosity you guys have not only saved me a lot of money but gave me a reason to do more videos which I'm always grateful for and uh, once again I'll link to mass luminosity down below in the description if you guys are serious about gaming these guys are always having giveaways for multiple products if you're a big pc gamer what do you have to lose you know just enter it through facebook if you have a facebook and you have a chance to win you know i always thought hey, you know these schools are just trying to get my information trying to scam me i winded up winning this is probably the sixth or seventh contest that i entered from them and i continue to enter contests that they have on facebook and um you know what guys i, I i'm super happy thank you logitech for teaming up with mass luminosity for this giveaway i have a whole new gaming setup thank you guys once again this has been corn i hope these unboxings have been somewhat helpful and i will see you guys next time bye